Christ in you, Christ in you, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Lord, it is a blessed Sunday. We come your way once again with our Sunday motivational message, which is going from the Word of God to be a mantra for us and to be our guide throughout the week. Today it has pleased the Lord that our message has been captioned. See, I appoint you. See, I appoint you. Our scripture reading is taken from Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 10. I take it from the New International Version. Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 10. See, today I appoint you over nations and kingdoms to uproot and tear down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. See, today I appoint you. Beloved, it is one new thing that even in the circles of the Church of Pentecost, we are looking at our overarching theme for 2023 as possessing the nations. And this is to buttress what God is using His church to do. And this one is emphatically a rhema of God to you that see, God is saying He is appointing you over nations and kingdoms. And He's not just appointing you, but He's appointing you to root out, to tear down, to destroy, to overthrow, to build and to plant. So understand that God has planted you there and appointed you to uproot. He has appointed you to tear down, to destroy. So anything that is of the devil, God has appointed you to tear down and to destroy. And apart from that, He is not just appointing you to uproot and to tear down and to destroy, but also to build and to plant. So understand that as you move on in this life, in your workplace, in your hostel, in your school, everywhere you are, God has appointed you over nations and over kingdoms to tear down and to destroy and also to build and to plant. Move in this consciousness and be a nation and kingdom possessor in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we pray? Our Lord and Master Jesus, we thank you for your word, which is illuminating us and granting us deep insight that you have appointed us over nations and kingdoms. Cause us to walk in this consciousness in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Beloved, may the good Lord be with you and have a blessed week. Amen.